Today I'm gonna to show you a quick video on how to calibrate your US 8011 indicator. Before we start, we first wanna make sure that we have some calibration weights to calibrate the scale. And what we recommend for any calibration is using 10% of the max capacity in calibration weights. So for instance, if you have a 5,000 pound scale, we would recommend using at least 500% for, excuse me, only 500 pounds for a good calibration. So to start, we're gonna use 100 pounds on this just to keep the calibration easy for the video. We're gonna start by turning on our display. And to get into the calibration, we're gonna press the on and off and the set at the same time. All right, C01, we're gonna go ahead and hit set. Now this is gonna be if we wanna calibrate in pounds, which is gonna be two, but if we hit the tear button to go down, we can change it to the number one to calibrate in kilograms, or we can hit zero to go back up to two. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it at two, and we're gonna hit set to move on to the next step. C02, we'll hit set again. Now this is gonna be the number of decimal places. Uh, so this would be whole pound, one decimal place, two, three, and four. So for this floor scale that we're using to calibrate today, we're gonna to just go ahead and leave it at a whole number, which would be no decimal places, and we'll hit set to confirm. C03, we'll hit set again. Now this is gonna be the increments the scale counts in. So one pound increments would be one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight, 10, five, 10, 15, 20, and you'll get the idea with the other increments. So for this scale, we're gonna just leave it at one and hit set to confirm. All right, C04, we're gonna hit set to confirm. Now this is gonna be the capacity that we choose for this scale. So in this case, this is a 5,000 pound scale. So what we're going to do is uh, use the hold button and the unit button to move left and right, as you can see. And then our tear button's going to be down. And we'll go one more over. And then the zero button will go up in value. Once you have that entered, we'll hit set to confirm. C05, and we'll hit enter. Now this is gonna be our zero point calibration on C50. So you wanna make sure that your platform is completely empty and there's nothing on your scale. Once it's empty, we'll go ahead and hit the zero button to change it to the number one and hit the set button to confirm and that will do a countdown to zero. Once that's done, we'll hit the set button. This is gonna take us to C06 and we'll hit set again to confirm. Now this is where we're gonna enter in our known calibration weight. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the zero button. And we're gonna hit the set button to confirm. We'll say span. And now this is where we're gonna enter in our known weight. So we're using 100 pounds for this video. But let's say you were gonna use 200 pounds. If you wanted to toggle to the left, you're gonna use your zero button and your, or excuse me, your whole button will toggle to the left and your zero button is gonna be the one that goes up in value. So we're gonna leave it at 100. And then I'm gonna go ahead and load that onto the scale platform. All right, once that's complete, we're gonna hit the set button. It's gonna do a countdown to zero. It will say a uh, random number and then it'll say Cal N. Once that's complete, to get out of the calibration, we're just gonna tap this once and that will exit from the calibration. And if done correctly, it should show you the 100 pounds. If you have any questions going through the calibration procedure and would like to speak with us directly, you can call 800-711-2237 or you can email us sales at usameasurements.com. Thank you for watching.